Coming up this week on UB Football Insider, we'll spend a day in the life with one of the nation's top receivers, Bulls senior Anthony Johnson. We'll recap spring practice with Bulls head coach Lance Leipold and visit with new athletic director Mark Allnut. He's on the job. We'll find out how he's settling into Buffalo. You've hit the bullseye with UB Football Insider. Good morning, guys. I'm Anthony Johnson, wide receiver for the UB Bulls. And today is a day in life. It's about 8.50, and I'm getting ready to head to class early. And so right now, we're going to head to my teammate's room, Chuck Harris. I have to call him, make sure he's up. You up? <laughs> Come on, man. See, if I don't call him in the morning, you know he won't wake up. I want to keep an eye on him. Pretty much, I got two classes today. After class, I go eat. After that, I go get a little treatment, you know, on my legs, my back, so I won't be tight. And after that, I just, we got meetings after that, and then practice. A little exam at 9.30. Yeah. Gotta be focused for this one. You better pass this test, you know what I'm saying? Confident. We're going to walk out with smiles on our face today. <laughs> conditioning? Conditioning going to be crazy. I guarantee it. <laughs> it's going to be hot. That's why I heard it. it's going to be hot. It's go time. Hey, man, you know what I'm saying? So one of the best corners here, man. Number nine, take them slack. You know what I'm saying? We got official running back. You know Hulk, you know what I'm saying? Too cold. Oh, he threw, he threw it. Yeah. Hey, you want to fight? Yeah. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. <laughs> I got class. Two questions, we had to write half a page for both. I know it was a lot of writing, but I think I did pretty good. Uh, I'll come here and get the chicken and rice, little veggies. You can come here and have the same thing every day. <laughs> yeah, I don't like switching my meal up. I eat the same thing all the time. Pretty picky. What up, what up? I got my guy with me, man. You feel me? It's been a dominant season this year. Going on, got to stretch out, keep my body loose. It's going to be tight. That's what I've been trying to work on this year. Stay out place and stuff. Your body is your paycheck. Get a healthy body. to see it off his foot. You with me there, guys? So as we're doing the drill today, you'll run through the block, work into the block point, which is at nine yards. We're gonna reach and take it right off coach's hand. Okay, so AJ, give us some track stance. Good get off. Set, go, rip through. Here we go, line of first, go! 
Good release, push, stay tight, tight, tight. Good. Down. 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 Light work. Down. Light work. Set. Oh. Yeah, nice light. Yeah, I ain't look like clowny coming off the edge. <laughs> you are catching 80 yarders. He's in the trenches. Yeah. yeah. I'm in the trenches. What are you doing? What are you doing? I can play D-line. You can play D-line right now. Yeah. Yeah. Teammates room, KJ, to play a little Mario Kart. Uh, we always play like on Thursday or Friday. It's a little classic game, competition, see who the best. This might get a little ugly, man. I'm telling you. I just want to say thanks for following me around today on my day in life. Anthony Johnson, 83. Let's go Bulls. While Anthony Johnson mostly took it easy, last Friday's UB spring game was a chance for some of the young players to get their first chance to show off for Bulls fans. All in all, the way we get out and competed, I, I was very pleased. We knew going into it, you know, the James O'Hagans, Anthony Johnson, Chuck Harris, Justin Brandon, Clue Hodge, we weren't going to use a lot in these situations. Guys that have played a lot of snaps for us over the last few years, and we want to continue to work on building depth in some areas. I think we're able to accomplish that. I think what you're really going to see is a really good battle in the backfield at the running back position. I think we've shown flashes from every one of the guys this spring. That makes us very encouraged, and it'll be heavy, uh, heavy competition in all. August. It's a ton of talent at that position. Emmanuel Reed, uh, I thought uh, Kevin Marks had a good day, Jonathan Hawkins. Um, they're all very talented backs. Uh, we have a young guy, uh, Jared Patterson, all talented backs. And I think come, come season, they're all going to be able to help us a lot. I think our defensive tackle position is still going to be one that we've had to find answers. I think we're going to play a lot of guys there. And I think in the secondary, once we get everybody back and healthy at the safety position, is one that's still going to be very competitive. Yeah, yeah, it was really nice to come out, you know. The older guys didn't play as much today, but it was nice to see a lot of younger players come out, you know, make plays, and that's real exciting. That means that we're really growing as a team entirely. Uh, I think, you know, the, the, the big thing about this spring, you know, is that we got a lot of older guys, so we really didn't have to learn anything new. We were just more so practicing on ending how, how we ended the season, you know, gaining and uh, building on that, and, you know, that was, that was big this spring. Uh, we, I feel like we got better as a whole, getting everybody involved uh, better with the playbook and everything. We got guys feeling more comfortable, like all the younger guys, and then we just getting it rolling. I think it went good. Um, we're taking steps in the right direction. You know, that's the main thing. Um, this year we know it's a stake. You know, we know we're on the cusp of something big, and we're just working towards that goal, working towards that MAC championship, that bowl game, you know, bit. Coming up, Coach Leipold reflects on spring ball and looks ahead to the 2018 season. UB Football Insider continues in a moment.
Welcome back to UB Football Insider. This segment is presented by Seth Q, changing lives every day. And we continue UB Football Insider, now joined by Bulls head coach Lance Leipold. We've already spent our day in the life of Anthony Johnson. We'll talk more about him. We already touched on the spring game. I want your reaction to what you saw at UB Stadium in the annual spring game. And I know you kept a lot of the big guys on the sidelines, which makes sense. But some of your young guys emerged a little bit, didn't they? Yes, they did, Paul. You know, you, you want to try to end spring as healthy as you can. But you want to try to give some of those younger players that have maybe gone through a redshirt year, have not played a lot, a a chance to perform in front of people with the uniforms and the lights on and all those things and I think we had some fine performances from some of those guys. You know those guys are the future those guys are going to be the big stars we're spending the day in the life with in the future do you like that group of young players that maybe we all haven't seen yet but you've seen plenty of? Yes yes we do you know we talked a little bit earlier about uh, in one of the earlier shows about Isaiah King uh, Charlie Jones Rodney Scott at the receiver position I thought I, Isaiah King was somebody that showed up in in the game and I think another one, you look at the, the running back position and, and the competition we have going there. And Kevin Marks early on in that in the in the scrimmage in the game, uh, you know, broke a long run and, and showed, you know, showed everyone kind of those the, the little bit of speed and size and all the things that we think he's going to give our backfield. Take me back about six weeks ago when you started spring practice, what you were thinking about that you wanted to accomplish over the course of all these practices and the spring game. And now that it's concluded, how close did you come to checking all those boxes? Well, you you want to, of course, kind of keep building on where we're at. I, I think, you know, our program from a year ago to now, it's it's night and day. It's night and day in confidence and execution. But we have to continue to work on a lot of different things, whether it be, you know, getting in, getting off of blocks, making plays, uh, you know, building depth is is the biggest thing we wanted to try to, to you know, accomplish in, in the spring. And that was with those young receivers, offensive line, secondary. And then we still have a lot of questions up front defensively is at the defensive tackle position as far as how we're going to rotate. Confidence is sometimes hard to gauge, but but for, for those of us that have had a chance to be at some practices, you felt confidence. And I don't know how you always define feeling confidence, but the way your team practiced, the way the guys carried themselves, uh, the way they executed all were signs of a team that had figured out how to win games with a three-game winning streak at the end of the last year. And coming into this year, I think that comes a little bit from what the guys are knowing that they have the chance to be really good and really special. As a coach, can you can you quantify that? Well, uh, you know, the quantifying is can be done a lot of different ways. I, I think on how we go about it, but I, I think it started about a year ago when we started some improvements within the program, and when our guys walk in daily and see the investment and and different things that have been made into our program and what we're doing, whether it been a year plus ago with our meeting rooms, the indoor facility, and then you take some of those things when guys go into the weight room and they and they get stronger and they see themselves, uh, you know changing physically and then of course you know through the through playing and confidence and production that other part of, the, of, of things start to come together and the way we ended the season and even the games that we came up a little short I think you add all that together I think you see a different football team for two of your key players I want you to tell me what you expect the next steps to be we've already seen Tyree Jackson and Anthony Johnson be among the best players in the Mac what's the next step for each of them start with Tyree well I think for Tyree again uh, as a quarterback he you continue to master the offense and I think he's done a, a, an excellent job as far as decision making goes you know you look at the redshirt freshman year nine touchdowns nine interceptions and then where it went last year as far as you know making making solid decisions I think there's maybe you know one or two throws he probably really wishes he could pull back you know I think that's different um, in that year's time I think when you look at now it's it's becoming that leader that vocal leader you know he's a great leader by example but totally being command of the offense and and again Anthony Johnson's an outstanding player KJ Osborne somebody's played a lot it's some of those other receivers that we have to continue to bring along to that we add the depth because we know a lot of people are going to you know defend against Anthony Johnson so we want to make sure that we have other weapons and we are able to get the ball to them when needed well, I know I can speak for a lot of Bulls fans who can't wait until the season starts in the fall with the home opener against Delaware State. You've got a little time to uh, wrap that around in your head, but I assume you're you're 
right with the rest of us, aren't you? Well, you know, we're already talking about all those opponents getting out in spring recruiting here. We have a lot of, lot of things to do, and that's one of the things when spring football is over, you turn the page to the next thing, and that's finding other ways to get better. Thanks, Coach. Appreciate it. Thank you. Coming up, we sit down with new athletic director Mark Allnut as he reflects on his first week in Buffalo. UB Football Insider will be right back. Welcome back to UB Football Insider. This segment is presented by Town BMW, the official auto partner of UB Athletics. Thank you. Appreciate it. I'm excited to be here. You're going to see a lot of me, okay? Me being a former football guy, you know, I'm going to be around. I'm here to help provide you the best experience possible, all right? And when I talk about experience, I'm going to talk about first and foremost in the classroom. You guys got the God-given gift to play football at this level, all right? And that God-given gift is going to be a vehicle for you to earn your degree and help you excel in life, whatever you choose. The second thing we're going to talk about here, guys, is, is you guys being prepared to what's next after sports. When the football day is over, you know what? We're gonna help you get that job. We're gonna help you start that career. And the last thing is this, I love to win, guys. I love to win. You know, we expect to win championships. You know, I'm gonna make sure that our coaching staff, our support staff have the best resources possible to help you be successful. It's all about you guys as people and developing you guys as young men because you guys are gonna be very successful in life. All right, that's all I got. Hey, go Bulls. And that was new University of Buffalo Athletic Director Mark Allnut addressing the Bulls football team at one of their spring practices last week in the Bills Fieldhouse. Being in that facility has to have you looking around going, can't wait till the one across the street is ready. <laughs> hey, you're right about that. Obviously, phenomenal facility down there. But when you come up here and you come to campus to see the progress of the Murphy Family Fieldhouse, you know, there's a crane up right now. The foundation's already been laid. They're still moving. So, you know, the good thing about that is that facility is going to be open next spring, and we're so excited to have that open, not just for the football student athletes and the football program, but for all of our student athletes and, and students to be able to take advantage of such a phenomenal facility. We heard a little bit of your message to the football team, and we know how, how important that sport is to you as a former college football player yourself at Missouri. What kind of advice can you give to that group of young football players to, uh, that maybe you've learned throughout your career to help them in the future for themselves? Well, it's all about the process. I mean, this time of year, you know, they have the opportunity to bond together during the spring football period, but now since that's over, as I told them, you know, finish strong academically, you know, first and foremost. Finish strong academically and continue that progress to their degree, which is going to be such an important, you know, tool in the toolkit of life. And then they come back together in the summertime, and then they continue to work together. And it's peer-led in the summer, which is, which is a great thing. And then, you know, get ready for the preseason camp, and then we kick off a game in September. So it's more or less them having the confidence of the processes in place and being able to execute that and get ready for a phenomenal 2018 season. You're a little over a week on the job here, but uh... – uh, last Friday, you had a chance to be a part of the basketball pep rally and then the football spring game. And every time I kind of noticed you, there was another Bulls fan who was chewing your ear off. And I'm sure you love that because people want to get a chance to know what you're about. And I think you probably want to get the chance to know what Bulls fans are First about. First of all, what an exciting event, you know, Friday night when you look at the basketball celebration and that parlayed into the uh, spring football game. You know, I think chewing on my ear is a little too strong a word. And a lot of people came up and introduced themselves to me, welcomed me, which I think is a fabric of this great community that we're in you know they're they're offering help you know they are giving some advice too which of I, course which, which which i'll take it but but i tell you sports fans will always be happy to give you advice but as i said you know i i appreciate the passion i mean passion so much better than the apathy and we have some great passionate fans here at ub what's uh, what's jumped out at you in a little over a week uh you know uh, here in buffalo overall so far well i tell you the laundromat service here is fantastic <laughs> you know i had to do some laundry yesterday no no you know again i think it goes back to the people and, that, and that's something i told uh, dr Tripathi is is understanding you know what we have here at, at ub and, and the facilities that we have ongoing obviously with the field house but when you're surrounded with people an opportunity to stand in front of our staff of about 130 uh, uh folks and just talk to them about me you know my vision for the department and I'm um, beginning the stages of meeting with each one individually. Just get more of an idea of, of what we're all about and what direction we're going to go, which is going to be very positive. Just off and running on a lot of good stuff going on here and a lot of good stuff that Mark's going to have a role in moving forward as we go through the summer and head into the fall sports. Mark, again, welcome to Buffalo. Thanks for the time. Thanks, Paul. Appreciate it. Thank you. Hit the links with the Bulls at Brookfield Country Club on Monday, July 16th for the annual UB Athletics Golf Classic presented by CHA. For more information and to register your team, visit ubbulls.com golf. Classic. 
For nearly 100 years, ECMC has brought hope and healing to Western New York. I'm living proof, and I couldn't be more grateful. By cancer, we all hope trauma will never happen to us. But when it does, we can rely on ECMC to always be there. I hope you join me to be there for them and help them build their new state-of-the-art trauma center and emergency department. Visit supportecmctrauma.org to help learn how you can support life-saving care. This is UB Football Insider, presented by ECMC, the difference between healthcare and true care. Welcome back to the UB Football Insider Show. My name is Paul Peck here at Alumni Arena. It has been busy around here, so let's take a look back and a look forward. It was a huge turnout at Alumni Arena last week as the Bulls celebrated their magical and record-breaking basketball season. Fans were treated to all the highlights, a MAC championship and an NCAA tournament win over Arizona for the men and a Sweet 16 appearance for the women. It was truly a season to remember. The streak continues for women's tennis, now with 11 straight wins and still undefeated in MAC play. After a 6-1 win over Akron last weekend, the Bulls clinched at least a share of the regular season title and the number one seed in the upcoming MAC tournament. The race to the title begins Friday, April 27th. The Bulls, with a bye to the semifinal round, will play their first tournament match on Saturday, April 28th. The women may be out of town for their conference tournament, but you can catch the MAC Men's Tennis Championships right here in Buffalo. The semifinal matches are on Friday, April 27th at the Miller Tennis Center, with the finals following on Saturday, April 28th. For information on locations and times, visit ubbulls.com. Well, thanks for watching UB Football Insider and Basketball Insider all season long. We're going to take a little summer break, but we'll be back in August to get you ready for what should be a really exciting UB football season that kicks off at home against Delaware State in early September. We'll see you then for UB Football Insider.